George Smoot es premio Nobel de Física 2006. Sus exploraciones sobre el Big Bang nos han traído fascinantes mapas del universo. En el siguiente fragmento de una entrevista exclusiva para la oveja eléctrica de Canal 22, Smoot conversa con Pepe Gordon sobre las perspectivas que abren los majestuosos paisajes que investiga. And, you know, eh, when we are talking about the models of the universe, the maps of the universe that you see, this has an influence in the way you look to the world. If you, like me, and you spend day after day studying the universe, you start to understand in a different way. You get used to the time scales, you get used to the huge scales. I mean, it's very hard for people to understand how insignificant man is in the Earth, you know, on the Earth, except now we're starting to have global reach, but how insignificant the Earth is in the solar system, how insignificant the solar system is in the galaxy, how insignificant our galaxy is compared to the billions of galaxies there are, and our part of the universe might be the part we see, may only be a very insignificant part of the whole universe. It's really difficult to grasp that because we're so used to dealing with the people around us, we think it's important, we get mad at somebody, it's the most important thing in the world. In reality, that's just a speck in terms of what goes on in the universe. And so once you start setting a map of the universe in both space and time, you start realizing how transient life is, how transient human beings are. We've only been around two million years. Now two million years sounds a really long time, but the universe is 14 billion years old. So it is 7,000 times longer than humans have been around, right? So I'm trying to think now 7,000 times longer than your life, you know, 7,000 times shorter than your life, how long is that? Well, it's, it's like a year or something out of your whole life, or less, well, less than that, because 70 years, right? But it's, it's a tiny fraction It's like an hour out of your life is, is, is how long humans have been around compared to how long the universe has been around. And even that's an exaggeration because we don't really have modern society and literature and knowledge except for the last you know, 500 years, 300 years, depending on your viewpoint. And so it's very, you get a very different perspective on humans' role in the universe, 